terms. In the first one, we have minus 2x to the fourth to the second power. So here, they're asking us to simplify that. In the next one, they're saying, if you can't read it, 10x to the fifth times 8y to the third minus 2x. All right, so that's the second question we're going to go over. So let's break this down in pieces. We'll start with this first one. Negative 2x to the fourth squared. What does that mean? Well, that means take negative 2x to the fourth and multiply it by itself. In other words, square this whole term. That's what this little exponent is referring to. So how do we do that? Well, multiplication can be worked out in any order, right? And here, I'm going to multiply my two coefficients. First, negative 2 times negative 2, which is positive 4. And then x to the fourth times x to the fourth. We'll leave that up here, and we'll evaluate that next. What is that? Well, um, if you think about what x to the fourth is, that means you're taking x and multiplying it by itself four times. So this is really like x times x times x times x, right? That's x to the fourth. And we're doing this twice. So if you think about this product, about what this might mean, here we have four x's and another four, so altogether, we're multiplying x how many times? Well, 4 and 4 is 8. So that's x to the 8th power. And it's 4 times x to the 8th. And of course, you might know a simple rule here to help simplify this because we have x and x and it's the same base. So we can just add these exponents right away, right? 4 plus 4 gives you 8. And that works out. In the next one, next example, we have almost the same type of question except here we need to recognize that these parentheses enclose these two terms, 8y to the third and negative 2x. So what do we need to do? Well, what I would do here is I would distribute this term to both parts, right? I'm going to use the distributive property here to solve this and, and simplify it. So what does that mean? Well, it means I'm going to take 10x to the fifth and multiply it by this term first. That's 8y to the third. And then I'm going to multiply the same term this time negative, because we have a subtraction sign there, 10x to the fifth times 2x. Now how do we break this down? Well, now we're going to be doing and using the same strategies as our last example. Here I'm going to multiply my two coefficients, 10 times 8, that's 80. And now I have x to the fifth times y to the third. Now I'm not going to simplify that anymore because x and y could have different values. Minus what? Well, here we have 10 times 2 which is 20, and then x to the fifth times x. Now that's going to be, if you think about this, this is 5x's, x times x times x times x times x. And then we're multiplying that by another x, this one right here. Altogether, that is x to the sixth power. And here, right, you've kind of expanded this, so you don't have to go any further, you can't simplify. You're done. You've multiplied out these terms. All right, thanks a lot.